Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm feeling very beachy today because I'm reviewing a couple of skincare products from Tower 28, which is a brand that you already know that I really do love their makeup product. And I finally got on the bandwagon and tried their SOS facial spray and as well as their SOS serum, which launched this year. So I'll be talking about the two products. I'll show you up close pictures of like the texture and things like that and whether I think you need both, one or the other, and all that good stuff. Let's just get right into it. Let's start with the SOS Facial Spray. So I got the travel size, and this is $14, and you get one fluid ounce, or 30 milliliters. So this is their SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray. It is accepted by the National Eczema Association, which is something that all Tower 28 products like have the seal of approval for. And this soothes, purifies, and renews. It's the happy solution for angry skin. Use AM and PM before moisturizer. It's for all skin types, especially sensitive. And I just wanna read off some fast facts from Sephora's product page. So this is Clean at Sephora. It is vegan, it is good for redness, it's fragrance free, it's alcohol free. And the key ingredient is hypochlorous acid and water and sodium chloride. So they have multiple sizes of this and I just did the travel size because I'm not a huge facial spray kind of person and I just wanted to have something to try it out but let me show you the mist I love that it comes with a cap so that it doesn't leak but let's see if we can capture the mist it's a really lovely fine mist I think the spray is really nice it doesn't come out in clumps there is no fragrance as it states and it's just a really nice facial spray. I actually really do like it. I've been kind of using it as my daytime serum but I'll still apply it at night. Is it something I'm gonna repurchase? I'm not sure to be honest because I just don't, I just don't use sprays like that. It's been really nice as like a break to a traditional serum but it's not something that I'll apply or repurchase right away. I think it's definitely great for the summer months. I don't have super acneic skin. I have sensitive skin that's definitely more on the dry side lately. And this has been really nice and hydrating for my skin. So I definitely recommend it for sensitive skin types, dry skin types. I don't find that it leaves me shiny, but again, I don't really have oily skin, so I can't really speak to that. Yeah, this is literally, the, I think this is their best-selling SKU, and I can, I can definitely see why. So I don't know if you can tell, but I've used about this much. So I still have a good amount left and I've had it for at least a month now. I think it's worth trying, especially if you're someone who would like a little bit of a relief or you just want a nicer way to cool off in the summertime with a little bit of more skincare benefit. But yeah, so that's their SOS facial spray. So this is what they launched this year. This is their SOS Intensive Rescue Serum. And I love the packaging. I love that it's a pump. You get two fluid ounces, which is actually double than what you normally get for serums. And let's check out the Sephora page for this. All right, so this is $34 for two fluid ounces, which is a great price. It is also clean at Sephora. It is vegan, it is alcohol free and fragrance free also has the key ingredients as their facial spray, which is the hypochlorous acid. Unfortunately, I wanted to love this, but one, the pump is terrible. The way the product comes out, let me just show you what I'm talking about. It kind of just shoots out, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's just a very, it's a nice clear serum, but it's not moisturizing at all. So you apply it and then like, once you rub it out, I feel like your skin just soaks it up, so you have to use a lot of it to kind of feel the moisturizing effects. So I was really bummed about that. I'm probably gonna return it, honestly. My mom bought this for me because we were at Sephora, and sometimes she likes to treat me to some products, but I was just not impressed. I was super disappointed in this, so I think if you're been on the fence about either the this intensive rescue serum versus the facial spray, stick with the facial spray. I wanted to like the serum so much, but I, it kind of leaves my skin feeling even more dry. So I would not recommend this if you do have more drier skin. I'd say it's fine if you have maybe more normal and oily skin because it's not going to be greasy on your skin at all. But it's just not going to be nearly as moisturizing as you want it to be. And then again, like I said, the pump just is not my preferred style of pump at all. Underneath my makeup today, which actually I'm also wearing the Tower 28 Sunny Days, I just sprayed some of the spray on and I love the spray. I don't really use the spray like throughout the day. I've mainly just been doing it morning and night during my skincare routine. And then as far as this goes, I think this is going to go back to Sephora just because for $34, I would rather try a different serum that 
you know, has a better texture and is better suited for my particular dry, sensitive skin type. I hope my review helped you if you've been deciding whether you should pick up the facial spray or the serum. I definitely say go for the facial spray. Heck, they make it in a jumbo size, so you know that their customers really, really do love this. I think you can't go wrong. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.